tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the fall student body and behind the colorful autumn scenery of the student center is a hidden treasure removed from the ever buzzing Eastern atmosphere and filled with knowledge, understanding, and the astounding reputation rivaled only by the true passion of its leaders. The DRC or Student Disability Resource Center has been a vital resource for students with disabilities for many years. But the resources are not the only aspect that make Eastern's DRC one of the best in Michigan. It's the people. We spoke with the Assistant Director for the DRC, Dr. Silva Goncalvez, about why the open, family-like atmosphere adds to the continued success of the DRC. How make you feel? Oh, I guess we can say <laughs> We're the best in many ways. There's some schools that do a few things better than we do, but overall, what I think uh, put us on the top is that there's an element of true compassion and caring for the students here. We love this place, we love the students. We have a, a chemistry here. Our students walk in, the first thing they get is a glass of water, a cup of coffee, a welcome. Uh, <clears throat> we have very competent staff. Uh, from our student helpers, uh, secretary, everybody's here because they want to be here. We all had jobs before we came here. So we came here because we chose to, and of course we're lucky enough to be offered a position, but uh, uh, we, we're doing very well because we don't create too many barriers. Some schools uh, make it very difficult for students to get accommodation. They want to complete assessment, psychological reports, uh, long detail evaluations. We don't. We say, just come in and we'll help you out in any way we can. And uh, myself and my colleagues, we're qualified to do some basic screening. So when you see a disability that's uh, quite obvious, or if not so obvious, at least there are clinical elements that we can identify, we can go ahead and accommodate the student. And of course, to to help the student if a, a referral is needed for further assessment, evaluation, we encourage that. Because sometimes students come in with uh, some misleading diagnosis they've been carrying with them since high school and if tested appropriately, we may find out they actually have some different diagnosis than previously thought. As our interview continued, Dr. Silva further explained the benefits, mission, and stigma surrounding the Student Disabilities Resource Center. Students can come here for anything. If they want a place to study, they can use the conference room, they, they want a place to just rest and chat. But we don't have a lot of study in areas here. They, they, they normally would go to, to a home and learning center or the various, the two nice places at the student center with fireplaces and all that. They have a lot of places to study. But occasionally we do have students come here and use the conference room. And the main mission is to support students and to make sure we are operating consistently with policies, procedures, and federal laws to assure students have equal access to education. Okay. Yeah, so uh, as, as you said, uh, there are some physical disabilities that are very evident. A person missing hands or arms, or a person who is blind, a um, person in a wheelchair. And then you have the person with very complex or covert disabilities, like a schizophrenic type of person, a person with uh, uh, severe depression, with proper makeup or proper uh, nutrition or proper medication, that person may come across as being uh, average. But it's not until you start talking to that person uh, or getting that person to a, a functional task, like writing or attending to an event, that you notice the person cannot concentrate. It's, it's more complex than just A and B. There's a gray area where the invisible becomes noticeable. And the visible becomes unnoticeable because a lot of people in a wheelchair function so well. Whether it's special accommodations during the semester, effective career training after graduation, or just being a listening ear, 
The Student Disability Resource Center of Eastern Michigan University excels at making real connections every day and will continue to influence the lives of Eastern students as well as the surrounding communities for many years to come.